Welcome to the Ridge Raiders Podcast Show. We're your host. I'm Scott Clark. And I'm Rebel Lee. Today we're going to be discussing reviewing Dukes of Hazard, Season 1, Episode 5, High Octane. Yes, this is going to be a great episode. This is exactly what the Ridge Raider stands for. It's got moonshine, it's got stunts, it's got revenue agents. It's the perfect Dukes of Hazard show. Yep, and it originally aired February 23rd, 1979. Yep, and we open up with the uh, General Lee jumping over a flatbed truck. Yep, and as we see the boys racing up into town to meet Uncle Jesse to go check in with the uh, revenue, we notice that the General Lee does not have its usual uh, push bar on the front, and one of the headlight covers is missing. Yes, and I noticed that that suit Bo's wearing was probably the one that uh, Napoleon Dynamite found in the movie. Could have been. Anyways, we find out that they're there to meet a Detective Roach. Uh, they made a deal with the Revenue Services to meet yearly, or, and uh, Jesse's holding up his end of the bargain. And uh, we find out that Detective Roach is no longer working there, and now there's a female. Yep. Um, Bo and Luke uh, look at each other and kind of look at how beautiful this woman is. And she informs them that she's now on their case. They tell her what they uh, that the deal they had. She goes and looks in the file cabinet, finds out that they were moonshiners. Seems appalled by this. We find out that it's Jesse L. Duke, Lucas K. Duke, and Beauregard. Bo does not like that name, Beauregard, so he constantly says Bo. We also find out that. This lady is person. This is her new job. She's very green at it, and we also see that Jesse was more mature about things than her in a lot of ways. When he was like, "Nevertheless, this is a deal we made, and we're keeping her end of it." Yep. And then once outside, we noticed that you know Jesse's talking to Cooter, who's fixing a broken tail light on the general and. The boys come walking up with a whole roll of copper tubing they bought, and they bought it because it was the last they had, and according to Cooter, now you can get that clear plastics kind. And you'll notice out there when the General Lee's parked beside Uncle Jesse's truck, Uncle Jesse's truck is a step-side bed on his truck, and when most of the series, he drove a fleet side. Yep. Then it uh, pans into Roscoe looking out the window and telling her that uh, he's sure they're running shine again. And she's letting them know that uh, she's on the case and that uh, if there's any shine being run, that she would take care of it. Yeah, and here's where Roscoe <laughs> makes a reference to something that's happening nowadays. Yep. The transgender, he makes the statement that yeah, and his aunt Tilly had a sex change and became his uncle. Yep. <laughs> but anyways, um, after pulling out there, we find uh, that Jesse has a moonshine field that is completely covered up, apparently, from everybody in Hazard County, even though it kind of looks obvious to me. But uh, they got Cooter there, their boy. And they're uncovering it and starting to cook up a batch. And Cooter ends up blowing up the uh, mash pot. Sound heard everywhere. Boss Hog realized, oh, they're making shine. By the way, Boss tried to strike a deal with these guys, saying he wants the royals, which is royalty. Yes, he wants the royalties. But uh, Jesse said he had his own partners, and now we see him up in the forest. And all of a sudden, we hear cans jingling. Yeah, Luke says that's the south side strand. All right, so they meet this lady that's in a wig and acting like she's fishing. Um, she jumps at every one of them. First it was Luke, and then it was Jesse, and then it was Bo. And Bo, not knowing this person from Adam, just takes the fishing rod right out of her hands. Um, but this lady passes out which we will see a lot of yep and when she wakes up where's she standing right next to the steel 
And every episode I've ever seen of any other TV show, they destroy the steel, even if it's not cooking or anything else. But again, this lady is first on the job, so she decides to go another way. How about a bet, folks? Let's see if, well, if you catch us for 24 hours, then you can bust us. But hey, if you don't, we're going to illegally run shine and everything else. Like, like, you know, they're not supposed to, but hey, well, if you got me, man. So yeah, let's do that. Yeah, and then Bo and Luke cook up a scheme where after uh, the revenue lady takes a bath in her kitchen, they're going to take her out juking. Now, at the boar's nest. We realize that there is no running water on this right here farm, folks. None. They got outhouses, and apparently they take a bath in a tin pan. And if you're wondering what juking is, it's a mix of music, exercise, and social intercourse. Which takes us to them at the boar's nest, dancing, juking as they call it. And Bo... He's drinking water and getting a revenue lady drunk. We found out that it was water by Enos grabbing one off of the uh, tray that Daisy was taking, and uh, that's water. Well, the weird thing about that is throughout the rest of this show, Enos doesn't drink hard liquor of any kind. It's buttermilk. And also, instead of pining for Daisy, all of a sudden, he's locking him some revenue. Yep, sure is. He makes up a deal with... Luke, where if he tells Luke what he knows, Rick's going to set him up with the uh, revenue lady. And sure enough, next day, Bo and the Reven Luke and the revenue lady are racing in the general because she caught him loading up shine. Roscoe set up a roadblock to get the shine for Boss Hall. Has Enos take them out to jail and he takes the shine to Boss. Yep. And here is where we meet the legend, Tilly. And the, 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 this episode, and this is a grill to all us Ridge Raiders. It's the best moonshine card, the legend of all. All blacked out and shock work done on it. And as much as she's a rookie, we also learned that apparently Boss forgets what it's like with shine. Because he didn't even take a taste to see how good the stuff was. Or look at it to see if it was real. He just said, throw it in the trunk. We're going to get out of here. Yep. Well, Bo and Luke and Revenue Lady end up back at uh, jail cell with Enos. Yep. And Luke starts to have a little fun with him and knocks the... Uh, bottle of moonshine and just so mysteriously appears there in the jail because they never took none with them when they arrested Bo and Luke and the revenue lady. Knocks it off and breaks it and Bo somehow magically lights a match with his thumb <laughs> and act like they're going to blow the place up. Scares poor Enos and the revenue lady together. And then Bo throws a match down on it and turns out it's nothing but pure water. Meanwhile, Jesse's getting stopped by... Apparently, a whole police force of Hazard County and uh, getting his car ransacked. This will probably be the last time you see more than a sheriff and a deputy in Hazard. But anyways, yeah. I like the line that Jesse said he would sue them if he didn't put it back together. And Roscoe said you wouldn't. And all Jesse had to say, would I? Or enough, they was putting his car back together. And then Boss is racing off because he's got some good, I mean, moonshine. <laughs> to uh, this place the government's looking for alternative fuel. Yep. And now we're in the place of, uh, where they got in the contest for to find the uh, alternative fuel source. Boss Hall bowls up through there. He, he's happier in a hog in a pile of slops. He goes in there and puts his in there and tells his flunky to start the engine and he wouldn't start. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then Jesse, he comes in asks if he can try it and of course, he says, can I try this engine since that one's just full of water? And she puts his, Jesse puts his finest in there and it starts right up. There was a light bulb above Boss's head. Water? <laughs> yeah. Um, being the pro that he is, he should have known that, but he catches on to something else a little bit later. Yeah. And, and Rev, the government has now decided that whiskey might be the way of the future for gas. But the revenue lady and Roscoe show up and say they're under arrest. But he clearly 
lets them know that it's property of the government that she can't confiscate the moonshine. Which the bet was they gotta catch him with it or or she's gonna have to let him go. Well she had no case here. Roscoe he tries the old uh well you confiscate you took one of our police cars but Luke lets him know or Bo actually lets him know that well you uh false arrested us with water and that they have a revenue agent that would testify on that. This is where Boss steps in and realizes they're still shine and it's all in Tilly. So Jesse put that in the tank to get it up there and now the race is on, isn't it? Yep. You got Boss Hog and Roscoe and one in a police car and the revenue lady in her car that she got from somewhere we don't know where it came from. And poor Enos, we have no clue where he went to. And they're chasing Jesse and Bo and Luke and Tilly. And Jesse says, we got to hold them off till the gas tank runs out. Gas runs out in the tank. And that's where we saw the old run of cars through somebody's barn. Yeah, the Jesse Duke barn shot, as he called it. Yep. Don't know if they paid for that one, but hey, they already put two businesses out of the last two episodes. And then when the car finally runs, you know, the tank dry and they're stopped, the revenue lady comes up. She's tickled to death. She thinks she's got them, but... They tell her the uh, tank's dry. She walks over and smells the tank, and again, she passes out. Yeah, this lady had a lot of problems. You could actually tell she was a rookie, and I'll be honest with you, this is a replication of South. If we know we can screw with you, we're going to. And they screwed with that girl so bad, with the whole thing, they played her, and I seriously think she should have went back to that other job they talked about. Yep. It was a good show, though. It really was. One of the better episodes. It really was. Yeah. I, I would recommend y'all checking this one out. It yep. was fun. And don't forget, uh, listen to our, our podcast. Yeah, you can find us on Spotify, Breaker, or Apple Podcast. Yep. Don't forget to like us, subscribe to us, and click that little bell so you don't miss an episode. And any questions comments please leave them in the comment section below and we may address them next time next absolutely we love our fans here and hope that y'all are enjoying this and just kind of find us on any platform that we've spoke of here and uh like i say if we got any ideas let us know other than that i guess we're going to say keep it between the ditches and join us next week for our next episode swamp molly yeehaw